Welcome back to Train Pro's video tips. Today we're going to talk about carpet and Xactimate. And we're going to start off with some of the real basics of carpet and Xactimate for the first couple of seconds here. Just to make sure everybody's aware of what the different codes are that you need to use and what is included in certain line items. So our first line item here is the FCCAV, that's floor covering carpet, and that's just an average grade. Um, the next line item is the FCC pad, that's the floor covering carpet pad. Now the tack strips, uh, those are included when you're replacing carpet with the FCC AV. Uh, the tack strips are included so you do not need to add tack strips as a separate line item. Now these two items here, the FCC stuff, not really. Uh, but those aren't needed in the estimate, obviously. And then finally, when replacing carpet, there's no need to reset the baseboards unless there's actual damage to the walls or the baseboard. In that case, you'd have to obviously replace the, the baseboard. But just carpet only, no need uh, to affect the baseboards. One of the add-ons you have here also is a Berber carpet. So a Berber is more of a, a, a tight woven pattern type carpet. And there is an additional labor charge uh, in Xactimate, the FCC AVB, uh, that you can use when you're using either a Berber or a pattern style carpet. Okay, so we're going to go into our sketch, uh, which is the best place to go ahead and do your carpet. You can do it from the line item, but it adds only a standard 15% waste to that line item if you do it from within the estimate item screen. So the best way to go ahead and do it is here in Sketch, which is going to be more accurate as far as the amount of waste that's needed to properly lay the carpet in that room. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to our search window, and we're going to put FCC AV for our average grade carpet. And you'll see also it pulls up the standard grades, economy, high grade premiums as well. But we're going to select the AV just as a standard grade carpet, and we're going to move our mouse over the screen. Now I can go ahead and move my mouse right over the family room and drop the carpet in there. Uh, you notice it's also highlighting my subroom, which is the coat closet. If I did not need to put it in this coat closet, I would make sure I move my mouse right over the name family room and it doesn't highlight the coat closet because maybe the coat closet has a vinyl or a wood in there. Or vice versa, if all I need is the coat closet but not the family room, uh, maybe I can just highlight the coat and it will highlight and only place carpet there. But we're going to do for the closet and the family room as well, so I'm just going to click out in the open. But before I click, I'm going to right-click uh, on the screen where it shows right-click to change. So we're going to right-click to change. And I'm going to look at the other options that are out here when we go to drop our carpet in place. We have other options up in here for applying a protective coatings, cleaning deodorizing of carpets, there's just a whole bunch of things. But what we're going to do here is we need to go ahead and put in our carpet pad. So we're going to be removing and replacing the carpet. We're going to be putting our carpet pad. Now if you get to an, uh, to an inspection and the carpet has already been removed by an EMS provider, maybe Serve Pro, Service Master, Pure Clean, someone has been out there already to uh, actually do the demo and you might be writing a build back estimate, well then just at this point you would just go ahead and do the replace only options on your carpet and your pad or whatever may need to be replaced only. Um, but you'll see different qualities of pad as well and they got felt pads and a few other items in here that you can put in here. Now if we also have that Berber carpet, we have an additional labor cost for Berber, that's the FCC AVB that we saw in the previous slides. So we'll go ahead and select that as well and hit OK. And again, I'm going to move over the entire room and I'm going to drop my carpet right in. Now once you have carpet in your room, there's a few other things you can see here. If you go to your view menu here, you have a flooring overlay option. We'll click on it here. And that'll show you the direction that carpet is running in the room per how Xactimate has dropped it in. And now Xactimate is going to find the most efficient way to lay that carpet. And that's how it dropped it in. So 
what I want to do is go back and show you what may uh, need to be done if you have maybe a patterned carpet. Okay, so if we come in here and we see some patterned carpets, um, this is a perfect example of when you may need to make an adjustment in Sketch based on the direction that it was rolled. If you're standing in this room at the entryway and the carpet pattern is going from left to right uh, as you enter into the room, but you look and sketch on the floor and overlays and you see that it went from the entry, it ran it north-south as opposed to east-west in that room, well, you'd probably need to change that floor and orientation. Now, the pattern right here, similar thing. It's, uh, it's again, definitely if you stand in the room here, if we're at the entry right here, it's going away from the door to the rear wall, or if the door is actually to the left, then it's going widthwise in that room. So you do need to pay it close attention when you're on an inspection. If there's a pattern carpet, and make note of which direction that carpet uh, is going to be moving in that room. So again, pattern carpets may require that you adjust the direction of the roll in sketch. So let's go take a look at what we would do to adjust that direction of the roll. Okay, so we're back here in Sketch. And again, we have our flooring overlay, which we get right from the view menu down at the bottom. We have our flooring overlay, so we can see the direction that carpet is rolling. This, to the right of the view, there's also the Show Flooring Cuts window. This here will show you the direction that the carpet is on a 12-foot roll. So if you look at the direction it's going right now, we have our large section A, and then we have our smaller section of B. So we'll go look at our flooring cuts. That shows you how the carpet is being cut when it calculated the quantity. So here's that little entry for our cloak closet here. And then this is the section right here, the smaller section that was off to the top left of our, of our living room. If you look at the total waste, that's giving us a 27.7% waste is what we have using this method. All this gray area here is what's being wasted. Okay? But let's say that carpet, because we walked in and that carpet from this front door, the carpet pattern goes left to right in this room. Okay? Or east to west in this room. What we need to do is we're going to highlight our room and we're going to highlight the flooring orientation tool up top. And what this will do is change the direction that we want the carpet. So you notice as I move close to the right wall, I got the arrows from the wall moving to the left or also from the left going to the right, top to bottom, bottom to top. So we're going to go ahead and attempt this from the left to right since that's the direction it looked like the pattern of the carpet was running in our scenario. And you'll see it's now changed it. So let's go back again and take a look at our flooring cuts. And we'll see now the direction that the cuts are being run as that carpet is going to be running across the room here. So in that scenario, we're up to 31.37% uh, before it was at 27, uh, just over 27%. So this is going to require more carpet than the direction that was originally selected by Sketch. But that's okay. What you'd want to do in this scenario is make a note uh, in your file that the carpet was run based on the pattern, run from left to right as you walked into the room, or north to south as you walked into the room, whatever it may be. But just make sure you would document your file so your reviewer and or the insurance carrier and contractor are also aware of why you've run it based on that pattern. So I hope that video tip will help you on carpet. And check us out online at train, gotrainpro.com. Also look for Train Pro on YouTube and see all of our video tips. And subscribe to our channel. Hope you have a great day. See you tomorrow.